mecca of the main event. It is and always has been at the crossroads of superstardom. A walk down its halls recalls a nation's passion. That's Ward taken, Ward against Rose. Here's Wendell Wright and he shoots, he scores! The echoes of the King still resonate. The crown princes of rock and roll. George Chavallo, a pretender to boxing's throne. Uh, used to call Chavallo the washerwoman and never particularly wanted to fight a, a George Chavallo because of his style. Now the curtain goes up on another game in this regal arena known simply as the Gardens. It is the house that Con Smythe built in 1931 for 62 years. Maple Leaf Gardens in the heart of downtown Toronto has been a showcase for the very best in Canadian sport. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Soapberry Shop World Gymnastics Challenge. Scott Russell along with Alfie Schlegel. Alfie, no question, this is the most important gymnastics gathering in this country in more than a decade. And you know what it's all about, what it's like to compete here under the lights at Maple Leaf Gardens. Well, Scott, this building certainly holds special meaning for me. It was just 17 years ago when I competed in my first international gymnastic event. I arrived three hours before the start of the competition just to absorb the size of this building. It's been long overdue, but it's certainly great to have world-class gymnastics back in this country. The headliner for this event is 21-year-old Vitaly Sherbo of Belarus. Six gold medals at the Olympic Games in Barcelona. He is the world champion, and what a coup to get him in Toronto. Great compliment to the city of Toronto. In my mind, Scott, Vitaly Sherbo is unquestionably the most gifted gymnast the sport has ever seen, not to mention a real character. Plenty of international experience out there. Canada's Stella Ume will get a chance to challenge the world's best, this time in her own backyard. Well, sometimes athletes feel a little extra pressure when they're competing at home, but that's certainly not the case for Stella. You know, she's most looking forward to finally competing on home turf. Huge year for Stella. She's looking forward to winning the Commonwealth Games next year, and this is where it all begins for her. We must mention this is an all-around competition. We will crown both a men's and women's champion this afternoon. The women compete on four apparatus, the vault, the uneven bars, the balance beam requires a generous amount of concentration. Perhaps the favorite for the crowd is the floor exercise. The men must challenge six events, the pommel horse, the rings, Yuri Kecki of Italy is the world champion there. The men also vault, take on the parallel bars and the high bar. But let's begin the World Gymnastics Challenge with the men's floor exercise. Italy. Yuri Keki of Prato, Italy, 24 years old. Alfie should be one of the favorite performers here in Toronto. A gold medal in the rings at the 1993 World Championships in Birmingham, England. The first ever championship medal for an Italian, and he's a national hero in his country. Scott, no question, Sherbo is the big name here at the Gardens, but this guy can certainly give him a run for his money. He almost beat him at the World University Games this summer. Keki opened up very strong, strongly with a double layout, just one small hop, good recovery. Now we're going to see a lot more of front tumbling on floor exercise, that's with the new changes in the code of points. And this is just a tease of what is yet to come. This guy is full of strength. The crowd appreciates the tremendous upper body strength of Yuri Keki. You know, he may have some trouble with the floor exercise, some of these routines, because he's coming off an Achilles tendon injury, which kept him out of the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. No question, one of the most serious types of injuries that athletes can suffer in this particular sport, and it's just great to see him back. He did miss the Barcelona Olympics, but he's right back on track, and he's looking very good in this exercise. Just one final tumbling pass just completing his balance element. Double back semi for Yuri Keki, a small hop, perhaps as a result of that injury, Scott, he still can't absorb the landing. Yuri Keki, a silver medal at the World University Games in Buffalo, New York this summer. Here's another look at the routine. Great overhead shot of his opening tumbling run, double layout, fully stretched. You can see a little bit of over rotation on his part, but he recovered quite well. The first score for Yuri Keki, a 9.2. The start value there, Alfie, a 9.6, so he scored well in the floor routine. 
Now onto the mat is the American competitor in this seven gymnast field, Cheney Umphrey of Albuquerque, New Mexico, a silver medalist at the all-around 1993 American Championships. His brother Greg also competes for UCLA's gymnastics team. Again, a gymnast outfit with tremendous upper body strength. Upper body strength and incredible power. Cheney just opened up with the same tumbling pass as Yuri Keki did, the double layout. Now fulfilling a strength and flexibility requirement back to back. Let's keep in mind at the end of each exercise, we'll see a start value. That is the maximum score that this exercise can, can score out of. Cheney, just a little bit of a form deduction, not quite as neat as he should have been in that front tumbling run right there. Very unusual skill. It's got an aerial cartwheel. We see the women perform those skills on floor exercise and the balance beam. Cheney Humphrey now preparing for his final tumbling pass. A student of physiology at the University of California at Los Angeles, coached by Art Sherlock. Almost no run whatsoever into this final tumbling pass. I wasn't quite sure he was going to pull that around. A full twisting double back. 23-year-old Cheney Humphrey of the United States. Let's take a look at his opening tumbling run. Only three steps into this exercise, a double layout, full stretch position, recovers well on that tumbling pass. Again, just what I saw throughout the routine were uh, small form errors that he will be deducted on. He awaits the score now, and that is Art Sherlock standing beside him here at the sidelines, Maple Leaf Gardens, a 9.2 for Cheney Humphrey, so that ties the score of Yuri Kaki. Start value of 9.5, so Alfie, he was working out of last, but scored the same. Now, Vitaly Sherbo, the world champion from Birmingham in 1993, six gold medals in Barcelona. This guy has been unbeatable. He has not lost since the Olympic Games. A space of more than a year and a half. Unbelievable, Scott. That was a double twisting, double layout. The same move that Yuri and Cheney performed, but Sherbo added two twists. Right off the top, you're going to see this difficulty level of this routine go up a few notches. He is untouchable on this exercise. Twenty-one years old, born in Minsk, Belarus. Vitaly Sherbo, a tremendous world champion, had a difficult time of it lately, particularly with associations in his native country. They're trying to abscond many of the funds that he earns while touring internationally, but still, he said before this meet that he would focus only on competing. And Scott, his full attention has certainly been on this exercise, ending the exercise very strongly with a double layout. I cannot tell you how difficult it is to get two layouts and two twists in such a short period of time with three steps, and Sherbo nails it. And then he ends his routine with a double layout, the same move that Yuri Keki and Cheney Umphrey opened their exercise with. Lots of power, lots of difficulty, incredible. Sherbo with a great deal of trepidation before the meet, spent a week oh, in Toronto nice. preparing, and a good start, 9.65. The difference there, Alfie, the start value, 9.9. He was working from a good base. And now, Rob Doyle of Canada, born in Montreal, now competes in Burlington, Ontario, for the Burlington Bee Gees, seventh on the high bar at the 1992 Worlds in Paris. This is a guy with a great deal of potential. And Paris was a very long time ago for Rob Doyle. He certainly had a few injury problems. Just slightly out of bounds there, that will be a small deduction. Rob, of course, trying to get back on track, back into the international scene, and what a great place to start here at the Gardens. Rob's claim to fame was the 92 Worlds that you mentioned, the high bar. But he's working very well on floor exercise, seems to be putting everything together, completing his strength skill. Again, a lot of front tumbling, which is new, a new introduction on men's floor exercise. Front full. He's very neat, very clean. He has nice lines. I think one of Rob's greatest assets is 
his consistency, he does tend to perform very well in competition. An engineering student at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. Double twist, punch front to end his exercise, a small hop, a very respectable job. And so the bad back that kept Rob Doyle out of the 1993 World Championships seems not to have bothered him too much here in Toronto. Here's that slight out of bounds in his opening tumbling run. You can see once your foot is over that white line, it is a tenth deduction. And here's the score for Rob Doyle, a 9.05. He was working from a start value of 9.5. So not a bad score for Rob Doyle of Canada to start, but Vitaly Sherbo, a 9.65, leads the way after the men's floor exercise. Up next is the World Gymnastics Challenge from Maple Leaf Gardens continues as the women's vault. Seven of the world's best hope to get off to a soaring start. She was the darling of the Los Angeles Games, Mary Lou Retton, an American all-around champion. It was a script fitting for an Olympics in Hollywood's own backyard. We'll return in just a moment.